Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir, welcome to my home studio. Today I have something special and with the snap of my fingers it shall appear in front of me. Here it is, I have to do it like this because I realize my microphone is over there and if I do it like this, this is the end result of how it sounds. So, yeah, this, let me start, oh, this looks good, really good shot, probably out of focus as well. This is a guitar. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. All right, so what would be the best place to open this? Not here. Here? No. Yeah, let's go from the side. Hello, unboxing cam. Uh, come on. You can see my daughter being unhappy about something, or not see, but here, in the other room. <laughs> ah, come on! And one more! Yes! Oh. Hello there, bubble wrap thing. I'm there's a lot of it, which I guess makes sense since you're shipping a guitar from Germany to Finland. Okay, let's see if I can get it out. I can. Yep, not going to need that. Let's put this aside for a couple of seconds so I can get rid of this. Need to save this for now. There you go! This is a really good video, like of me throwing boxes around. Then, nearly knocked down my secondary light. Okay. Ah, oh, you cannot see the microphone. This is such a professional video, I feel like I've been doing this for two years already. Which is actually true. I'm not sure if it shows. Ta-da! No, <laughs> maybe this way. <laughs> Ta-da! It's a Harley Benton, which you knew because of the title of the video, but still, I wanted to say ta-da! Then, ooh, opened for quality control, content complete, says the seal over here. Cool, I believe you. Then, oh, hello. The lid was about to detach. Uh, tools, nice touch. This is, by the way, the first Harley Benton guitar I've ever got. Uh, label thing, the Dario XL. Nice. I was worried whether the guitar would come with proper strings or not. In case of rescue, fire hazard. Uh, this sticker you might have seen this from Tom, and I don't know if you can actually like. The camera isn't on autofocus. And that's not why you're here. All right. So the guitar that we are unboxing is a cool one. We agreed that this is here only for the review, but I'm slightly scared that I might, might like it quite a lot. This guitar is part of the Harley Benton's Fusion series, which I got to try at TGU last May. And I was really impressed. And let me get rid of the box as well. Over there. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll try to keep all of the packaging material intact. I guess I will be sending this back. Or right now I'm thinking I'm sending this back, but we shall see. Okay, unboxing cam. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Sorry for that noise, that's really... <laughs> I get goosebumps from that sound. Look at that! Uh, let me actually like, zoom in with this camera, like this. And then focus. I'll say... There you go! This looks nice! So this is part of the Harley Benton Fusion series. 
This is just called, let me check here quickly. Uh, Fusion 2, HH, Ebon, AB, BK, EB probably means Ebony Black. And BK, or maybe BK means Black and EB means, can this be Ebony Fretboard? I highly doubt it, it's too light to be that. Uh, let me check the specs. Uh, Bolton Canadian Hard Rock Maple, it's a mahogany body. Uh, there's a quilted maple veneer, though <laughs> on this one you really cannot see the quilt. But let's see on the side cam like this, looks like there's like an actually a cap or wait a second, or oh, is it the? Is it, no, it's just painted like that, which is still really cool. Like nice attention to detail. So mahogany body, maple neck. Um, yeah, it is ebony fretboard. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I don't know why there would be a quilted veneer top because the guitar is black. And <laughs> if you look at this, let's just immediately address the elephant in the room. Yeah, it looks like the Piton signature by that other company. But in this case, I really don't mind because that guitar is out of price range for many many of you guys. I know just many people don't even consider getting guitars that expensive so I think it's cool that there's like a budget alternative available especially because that other company doesn't really make uh, kind of cheap guitars. But yeah so initial reactions uh, the top is cool it's black but there's like a greenish hint uh, especially on studio lights, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in any way. Uh, maybe that's camera. Let's try. Mm, maybe not. But it's like black, but there's something like greenish. Could use some like wiping. Uh, Roswell pickups. Wilkinson tremolo. Uh, I've always liked everything I've tried from Wilkinson. Uh, volume, tone. No push-pull things, but a switch. I actually don't know what it does. So we'll about to, we are about to find out. Uh, apparently it's string with Diadarios. Locking tuners. Here you go. Which is really impressive for the price. Again, uh, this guitar clocks at 299 euros. So yeah, made in Indonesia. And yeah, four bolts. Nice kind of semi-ergonomic cutaway uh, is it... I think it's 24 frets, uh, 15, 17, 19, yeah, 22 frets good video content and yeah actually minus one string, it's actually in tune, which is insane like this travel from Germany, it's a budget guitar but wow, that's impressive um, overall, it feels like a nice instrument. There's thread ends are okay. Nothing too drastic. I might kind of file them down a little bit. The nut looks really tidy. Good job here. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Then what else? I like that there's the, the truss rod adjustment is here. I'm a big fan of that. What else? Standard input jack. Yeah, don't know what this switch does, we'll find out soon. Probably some sort of coil split thing going on. But yeah, for $2.99, it feels good. Uh, looks good. You know what? Let's tune this and plug it into the Rev Dynamis and try it out. Okay, it's almost in tune now, so I ended up getting the tremolo arm, so I can try it out. I think it just pop in, I don't see any kind of tightening mechanism or anything like that. Oh, wait a second. Like this? Like this. Nice! I like this. And this, the... There's a little bit of wiggle going on, or like, as you can hear. So it's not like it doesn't sit there like 100% perfectly, but it's fine. Uh, 
uh, easy way to fix that is to get some tape and tape around it, it around um, the kind of come on get out get out just tape around this part over here let's put it on that camera just add a little bit of tape around here and then put it in uh, I've been fixing this issue on much more expensive guitars than this and it's not a big deal really uh, second tuning all right, let's take the amp of standby. Volume down. So the switch is on that position right now. And let's see what happens. Okay, that's some sort of split thing. That's how you change keys in the middle of the lead line. Okay, let's keep it there, middle. One more tuning run, hold on. All right. Neck. I almost feel like I want to lower the bass on the amp or something. Okay, I struggle a little bit with this guitar because I play elixir strings which have a completely different feel to almost any other guitar strings, but... So, I struggle with that a little bit, but otherwise it feels good. Uh, this ebony is very, very light. Uh, but I don't mind, it looks nice. It's getting better all the time. I'll tune one more time. This switch, whatever it does... ...is really good.
I wonder if you can do the flutter thing. <laughs> Yeah, you can. I'm rubbing my nose, that's really professional as well. All right, initial impressions. Looks good, feels good. The build quality seems really nice for the price. $2.99. To me, it feels like, if, especially if I would put on my favorite set of strings, just give it a quick setup. Uh, I would be pretty comfortable with this. Uh, I'm not a fan of this neck profile because I am an old soul and want to play thick vintage necks nowadays. Uh, not my thing 100%, but nothing that I couldn't get used to. Uh, it's slightly kind of asymmetrical actually, feels like the... Uh, let's put it on the pedal gun. On this side it's kind of thicker, so it's like the highest point isn't here in the middle, but slightly over here. So, yeah, feels like that. And uh, as you can see on the camera, the ebony is interestingly kind of pale or kind of bright. I'm used to ebony being pretty dark, but I mean, yeah, looks good, sounds good. It was almost in tune out of the box, which is crazy. Working tuners, good tremolo. Uh, yeah, this guitar will have a proper demo pretty soon. But right now I'm just going to stop shooting the video and go and play some more, get myself familiarized with this and start recording with it and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned for the demo if you found this video interesting, helpful, useful and something like that. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, ask any questions you might have. And if you want to support what I do, get yourself a Catpix Studios t-shirt, links below in the description to my Teespring store. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.